at this hour. Arizona's first execution in nearly eight years happening late this morning. Clarence Dixon put to death via lethal injection and before the injection he did proclaim his innocence. He was pronounced dead at 1030. We want to get out to our Luz Delia Caballero who is in Florence now outside of the Arizona State Prison Complex. Luz Delia. Yeah, as you mentioned, uh, Clarence Dixon was put to death at 1030. Now the drugs were inserted uh, through the IV at around 1019. Frank Strada reading his final words. We'll get to that in just a moment. But as you mentioned, this is the first execution in eight years since the botched attempt Joseph Woods execution back in 2014. Now going back a couple of hours, Clarence Dixon's last meal was Kentucky Fried Chicken, Strawberry ice cream and water. Now a time by time uh, kind of play by play for you. The execution again went as planned. We are getting word that Clarence Dixon Clarence Dixon never made eye contact and looked straight at the ceiling. He also blamed the Supreme Court. Witness also say that Di Dixon insulted doctors the entire time doctors were getting him ready at 1019 from Dixon quote maybe I'll see you on the other side Dina I don't know you and I don't remember you now Dina Bowden was one of Clarence Dixon's uh, victims he was convicted for her murder and this is why he was set to be executed we do have a statement from Leslie James, who is Leslie Dixon's sister. We are going to pull that up for you now so you can take a look and read it alongside with me. One moment. Well, as we get to that, as it's being pulled up, we will, Dina's brutal murder, the 23 years of wondering who was responsible and the 21 years of our involvement in the criminal justice process has been a long road that none of us asked for and none of us deserved. Dina was a beautiful person inside and out. She was only 21 and in her last semester at ASU when she was violently taken from my family. The last 44 plus years of reliving Dina's brutal murder as well as enduring the trial appellate litigations has been nothing short of horrific for our family and ABC 15 in fact went to Leslie's home a couple of weeks ago and her husband let us know that this has been a long and arduous journey for her and her family they told us at the time that they don't know or they didn't know how they would feel when this day would come but they were hoping uh, this day would come also moving forward here on scene the last bit of protesters have left but we talked to quite a few of them who were telling us that they didn't believe in executions they believed that life was precious and they felt that maybe Dixon could have given been given a different consequence like life in prison without any possibility for parole reporting live in Florence Lustelia Caballero ABC 15 Arizona